Hello everyone. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a render within under 10 minutes. Before the video starts, just a friendly reminder to subscribe to my channel. This would be very appreciated. I thank you very much. In order to do a render, you'll need to have Roblox develop, like I have up here. When you get on this screen, you need to go into the classic base plate. Okay? So, as soon as this is loaded in, you will be greeted to this. Okay? Let me just get rid of that because we don't need that today. Uh, there we go. And then what you need, you need the Moon Animator Character Inserter plugins, which you can find in uh, plugins on the Roblox catalog. So what you'll need to do is you need to click on this here, and it will come up with this screen here. And in order to find out your Roblox profile, all you need to do is go on your profile here, and then it's this number up here. All you need to do is copy this and then when you get back on here just do Control and V at the same time to paste and then it will insert and then eventually your character will appear and then you can just click on this as well and it will just be off like this okay and then what you will need next is the moon animator okay so if you click on that I'll just move this up here then go on file new animation you don't really need to think of a name for this because it won't really matter so i just put yt so and then you'll be greeted with this and then in order to change your position you need to go on this click on your character okay and then you'll have freedom with what you want to do okay so you can like move the head a little bit like that and then with the arm as well, you can either control the whole arm, or if you click it a little bit further down, you can do this bit here. And then what I don't really use, but you can move the hand as well. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a very basic pose for you here, ladies and gents. So we're just going to go up like that. Then we're going to click down on like that. Just like that. And then we'll probably stick it this arm out a little bit more. Yeah, oh my god, stupid epic games. <laughs> Anyways, and then just just like that, really. That's what I'm going to be doing, but you can spend a lot more time if you wish to. But I'm just going to have that pose right here. And now what you need to do is you need to go right-click on your name up here, export selection, and then what you need to do is save it. So I have my own folder for renders because I make quite a lot of renders. And then I'll just call it YT. You can call it whatever you want, just as long as you'd be able to find it. And then that's all you need from Roblox Develop. After you're finished in Roblox Develop, you'll need to go on this program called Blender 2.78. Blender has many different versions, but I just find 2.78 is much easier to use, I'll be completely honest. You can download whatever version you want, but I will put the link in the description for version 2.78. So when you load uh, Blender up, you'll be greeted to this screen. All you need to do is just click anywhere to continue. And then when you get on this, all you need to do is delete and then just click on that and then that will be gone. And then in order to move around like this, you need to hold down the scroll button. Like the hold down the middle button of your mouse and then you'll be able to move like that, okay? And in order to get your render on here, you need to go on File, Import. When you do Import, make sure it's Wavefront. And then just find your render wherever you saved it. And make sure it ends with OBJ because that's a lot easier and then hold the middle mouse button down again you'll be able to look around and then you'll be able to see your render you can also scroll out as well on this program which is what I'm going to do and then you can click on these as well in order to move your render what I usually do I usually just move it in the center just because I feel like that's a lot easier for me and now all you need to do is make it high quality so here you need to put 3840 and then the second one down 2160 and then 100%. Next, you need to go into shading right here. And then go on this and make sure it's transparent. Then go on this plus button here. And texture shots. Texture solid. I can't even say that bit. And there you go. It should be solid right now. And then next, what you want to do is go on this globe right here. And then just tick all these boxes. Okay? 
And in order to make your render now in the position you want it to be, you need to right click on this and then press zero on the right hand side of your keyboard. It'll just go like this. And then you won't be able to move around yet. So in order to move around, you need to do shift and F at the same time. And then you'll be able to just move around like this. Uh, if you want to go down slightly, just press Q. If you want to go up slightly, hold down E. And it's just like that. So I, I'm just going to get it into position right now. And then when you're happy with the position, all you need to do is click. And then that's what it's going to look like. And in order to make this a render, all you need to do is go on this camera here and go on render. And then when you have done your render, you can scroll in and out as well. So what you'll need to do, you'll need to scroll out a little bit. And there you go, you have your render. And in order to save your render, just go on image at the bottom, save as image, and then just save it wherever you want. I have another file for finished renders as well. And I'm just going to save it there in my own folder. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you make a good render. And if you do see any gaps on it or any like glitches, like for example, you can see right here. What I usually do is I just go onto Microsoft Paint and just like shading over them, which I could do in another tutorial if any of you would like me to. But it's just quite simple after that. Just go into Microsoft Paint and choose the color closest or just go over the clothes until you get the same color as that. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you can make a render. If this was really useful for you, I do recommend subscribing. There will be a lot more tutorials that you can ask me to do, and I will certainly try my best to do them for you. But other than that, enjoy your renders, and I hope this helps a lot. Thank you very much for watching.